gonna change from an adventure channel for temporarily to a bus restoration or conversion channel. <laughs> <laughs> hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. All right, my friends, this is day one of working on the bus. As promised, you're gonna get a lot of bus working. So on the agenda today is get this place cleaned up and get the rest of these side panels pulled off and get the floor prepped to grind it and uh, start prepping it to be sealed. So it's gonna, I think it's gonna be quite a chore <laughs> to get this floor prepped. We gotta get all the rust off completely. There can't be any rust left on it and then we paint it with a sealant, probably two coats, and then we have to fill all these little holes in with silicone. There's a bunch of little holes in the floor that we have to fill in with silicone. So, and there's a couple of fairly bad rust parts, especially right here in the entry. So we're gonna have to take care of those and figure out what we need to do for those. But for the most part, I'm stoked to be working. It's freaking cold. It's so cold. It's like uh, starting right now, it's about 26 degrees, so. Not as cold in the bus though. But uh, I'll show you a little bit of the details of stuff that I'm working on, like these, these holes and stuff, but here we go. All right, so we're starting to get the side panels off. We're pretty close with all of it. Um, at first I was trying to hit them with a hammer and a chisel, but it was taking forever. And my hand, after just 20 minutes, my hand was demolished. Hurt so bad. And then uh, my father-in-law grabbed the grinder, the angle grinder, started grinding the heads off of the rivets. And it's so much easier, and so much easier on your hands. So we're just grinding the heads off the rivets, and then the, molt, the sheet metal just pulls right off. Um, but you can kind of see, like, it's crazy. So there's, there's where we've been grinding and there's just rivets every three, every one to three inches. It's insane. I'm so glad that like probably 70% of this stuff was done when we bought the bus because this is crazy. Anyway, back to work. All right, so progress already. So we've got all the side panels off, you can see. All the side panels off, all the roof panels, it's bare, it's ready to go. So pretty much, Quite literally, we are starting the, the build right now, which is cool. So, uh, well, I guess grinding the rust off the floor is still part of the demo. So anyway, what I'm about to do now is I'm about to grind all this rust off of the floor. I just went and picked up a couple of grinding wheels. So I did a little bit of research on what kind of grinding wheel to get and just found these. The, um, one of them's called a flat disc. And I don't know, they're kind of interesting. They've just got like these thick pieces of sandpaper on them. We'll see how they work. And then once I'm done grinding the floor, which supposedly is supposed to take a really long time from everything that I've read. So I'm, I'm prepared for that. Uh, after, uh, after I grind the floor, we're gonna seal it with this rust stop. So the, the entire floor will be ground down to the metal. Then I'll seal it with the primer, the rust stop primer. And then there's all of these small holes in the floor from where the benches were mounted. And uh, I'm gonna take this sealer caulk. It's gutter and flashing so that it adheres to metal. And I'm just gonna caulk all the holes. I'm gonna use a little mesh tape, a little mesh drywall tape, joint tape, to put over the holes when I do the caulking so it's is just some added extra strength to keep the caulk in the hole. Um, anyway, I'm stoked. I bought the wrong disc. Apparently I need a wire brush disc to get this rust off, because then that will get in the divots and the cracks and yada yada yada. The disc I bought will not get into the divots or the cracks. So I'm gonna run to the hardware store again and get it. I'm assuming this running to the hardware store like over and over again is going to be a theme 
of this project. All right, so we got a recommendation for something that needs to go on the floor over the rust, called a rust converter. And we found a brand called Corosil, C-O-R-R-O-S-E-A-L. But apparently you can't find it anywhere. It's really hard to track it down. So we're calling every store in our area to try to find this magical stuff that will get rid of our rust. We but hope. we hope, but we can't find it. So we might have to order it off to Amazon, but obviously that sucks because two day shipping puts us back two days. Or so, we could have it from Home Depot in 10 to 15 days. Yeah, or we could order from Home Depot and have it in 15 days, which would really slow us down. The next step is figuring out where the roof is leaking oh, yeah. and get those fixed because we can't put anything else in this bus until we know the roof works is dry so look at us we've been grinding for hours we're almost done we have about four feet left to grind on this floor it's fun Addison's bossing us around like a true foreman Hey, so it's the morning after our first big day of working on the bus. And I am so sore. My legs want to fall off. And we worked until real late last night on grinding the floor. So I'm going in the bus right now to see. <laughs> and it was dark. We didn't have very much lighting in here. That's one thing. I got to get more lighting for working on the bus. But, so this is the first time I'm walking in after not seeing all the work that we did last night in the dark. So I'm gonna bring you with me, we'll see how it looks. So the work we did last night was grinding and buffing all of these this rough is spots. Awesome. What's awesome, buddy? This. On this these spots, it. like crazy. Look at the dust on this stuff, it's like an inch thick all over everything. Good morning, bus. Quick update on what on, what's on the agenda today. So like I said, we ground the floor, we got all the rust off. Let's sweep through the water, please. And uh, today we're going to clean the floor really, really, really good. We've got um, this stuff called crud cutter. And uh, we're gonna clean the crap out of the floor with this stuff after we get all the dust up. And we're gonna do that. And then um, we couldn't find the rust converter anywhere in store locally. So we're ordering it off of Amazon and it won't be here till Tuesday. On the floor at least, we're gonna be at a little bit of a, uh, a standstill, but I also found a bunch of leaks yesterday. So luckily, cause it rained, woo, rain. It showed us where all the leaks are. You can see the water on the floor. And I'm gonna be working on sealing leaks and windows until we can continue on the floor and that stuff gets here. So that's our plan today. We're gonna to do some work, right kiddos? Yeah. Woo! So we got the floor all vacuumed, swept, all the dust up, or most of the dust up. Now we're gonna start cleaning. the uh, Salt Lake Home Show. They have a tiny home display here. Or they call it the Tiny Home Village. So we're gonna go check it out, see if we can get some ideas for our bus. See what the deets are on the tiny homes. Yeah. 